do you do this? You look the exact, actually, you know what? And you know this is true. You look better than you did back when Straight Up was number one on the charts. Well, thank you. You do. You absolutely do. And, and how do you do that? How can we do that? Well, you look great, too. Well, Lou. thank you. I mean, we kind of came up around the same time. Well, I'm a few years older than you, but um, thank you, Dr. <laughs> Zismore. <laughs> but how do you stay in shape like this? You know, I've been blessed with dance. You know, dance yeah. has been, and, and for me, dance is like, um, you know, you get on your, your bike and ride it again, and, yeah. it's, and it's like that. Yeah. Um, muscle, muscle memory. memory. <clears throat> muscle memory. You know, it's funny. Um, years ago, when I was growing up, right, right after the World, World War II, <laughs> you know, there used to be signs everywhere that said, um, cocktails, dancing. You would go, it was, dancing was a part of our culture. Everywhere uh, you go, people uh, dance. Dance schools, everywhere. But it's That's, not like it's that. It's not like that anymore. Why? Why is that? You know, it says a lot about our culture that we're not dancing right now. Because dance... Music is the heartbeat of the soul and the spirit. And the fact that our culture is not dancing right now says a lot about where we are. I've toyed with the idea of opening up some type of a daytime disco for people my age. And, and because he, I'm in bed by 8.30 at night. Well, I get it. Yeah, I'm a yeah. dead dead. <laughs> I, but there should be. There should be, there should be so many places where people can go. Because I think dance gets into your, gets into every, like, cell of your body it does. and it changes your life forever. Now you lit up the dancing world uh, just recently at the Billboard Music Awards. That was fabulous. <laughs> so fabulous. Thank you so much. So gorgeous. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Right there. Now, okay, listen, you know, we, I don't know how to do math, but I, I have an idea of where you are in your life. Uh, someone being able to do that is really amazing. You know that, right? Well, thank you very it's, much. Well, but, uh, I, I mean, those dancers are literally, I'm more than twice their age. And well, they were more scared than I was. I said, no, you're going to catch me. Yeah. I know where... <laughs> I know your addresses, where you all live. Yeah, and, and, and you still, you, do you know what's going on in the dance world? I mean, you cast all of those guys. I did. And so do you know the up and coming kids who are in town who, do you, you keep a track of, of all of that as a, as a former choreographer? I try to, there are, I mean, I, I was just saying backstage to Adam that these dancers nowadays are like transformers. Mm -hmm. Like, like, it's thank God I don't have to audition to dance yeah. or, or to have a career in choreography because honestly, it, it, their bodies defy, you yeah. know, they're doing things that defy what bodies are capable of yeah. doing. Some of these dancers, they, they're booked for like months and months on out. And I said, well, I know a lot of them. Yep. And I've seen some of them on So You Think You Can Dance. And I, I want to book them up for my for But my they wanted to dance with the legend that is Apollo Abdul. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. They were excited, but I think I was more. I think I was more excited because I haven't done. I haven't. I hadn't done a, a, an award show, a live show, in 29 years. 29 years? Yeah. Really? On the American Music Awards 29 years ago, and for the same production company, Dick Clark. So yeah. it was like full circle. And it was really cool. Well, you done real good.